So it's like nearly 5 a.m., 4.30, something like that. This is life of the insomniac. I'm outside. <sighs> Having a quick break because it's too hot in the room. It's too cold out here. <sighs> Just don't know what to do. Down outside the hotel door. And it's fun. I've had a good time. It's just that I fell asleep after the closing ceremony and didn't get to have the crew dinner, which is really annoying because I really wanted something to eat. There's a McDonald's over there and it's closed because it's Sunday. And I've missed everything. I just feel like I've missed everything. I've just got to remember that I've had a good time and tomorrow I'll be like helping with the uh, packing up and uh, the de-rigging and that's going to be fun but just in the middle of the night for insomnias, for insomniacs you've got no one to talk to the internet connection here isn't as good as you'd think I can watch videos but I can't like contact anybody that's on the other side of the world that where it isn't night so I can't talk to them. My partner's asleep in the room, so I can't really do anything like play video games or watch movies or anything. Um, I've got nothing to do but wait for breakfast to open. And then I'm gonna go into breakfast, and then I'm gonna like sit in there and wait and play on my phone, and then I'm gonna wait for um, like somebody to be up so that I can talk to them. And disturb their breakfast because you know fun but no I've had a good time I guess so I can't complain too much selfie stick was really good I got a selfie stick for um, kind of an ex friend of mine found out that they had a selfie stick already so present ruined I guess <laughs> but I mean I got, I got myself a new one so I just gave the other one to Damon my partner <sighs> what are you gonna do anyway I'm gonna go I'm probably, I might even do a lift shot I don't know yet I'll see you in a bit hello right so it's been uh, three days well, it's been a few days since um, I got back from the, I know you said the Carrington, uh, the Grand Harbour Hotel. It's terrible. It's day. I'm going to have a shower in a minute anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <sighs> it's been a few days since I've been back from the Carrington and I'm sorry that I haven't been vlogging or anything. It's mainly been an issue with my uh, phone. I've not had enough storage space on my phone to actually do anything. My moustache looks really uneven. It's not. I don't know. Excuse the scruffiness. But I am the ultimate... Oh, there's a picture of Jedi. Okay. <coughs> right. Yes, it's been a few days since I've been back from the Grand Harbour Hotel, from the ball. It's taken me a while to um, actually sort out both the files on my computers, um, backing up all of the files from the ball, pick farming for the actual ball video that I do on my main channel. Uh, which is going to be fun. You may have noticed that there was like the vlogs from previous uh, days at the ball. I'm really happy about those, even though they do go on for quite a while. That's basically because this is going to be, like I said, this is this is supposed to be the um, the video diary, and all of the video that I take on the um, 
on the day. <coughs> so I'm, I'm going to post on here. And that's what I did basically. I didn't I didn't have time to actually record a video message for anybody. Um, I didn't have time to actually make a video log. Um, and when I did make a video log, I figured that I better put it on my main channel since I tried to do a vlog for the escape pod every month. So that's that's fair enough, right? I guess. Um, and I figured since it's it, the main theme of that channel is science fiction, that I would put science fiction content on there. And since the ball is mainly about science fiction, that's what I did. So sue me. And so the vlog, the vlogs will, uh, are posted on here and on there. But the raw footage version is posted on here um, with added music because I figured it's a bit boring just with the plain raw footage. Um, that is a tiny bit cut out from one of the videos, um, and that's because my mum decided to touch the drone when it was filming, um, and therefore it bumped into a wall. So I actually didn't film the crash. Well, I did film the crash, but I didn't actually show the crash. So yeah, there's that. Uh, the ball went great, I got lots of junk from the ball, which is great also, but I live in a tiny house, so I've got nowhere to put it, actually. Um, so I'm kind of a bit miffed about that. I've got a book as well, uh, and I really want to read that, but I've had no free time recently. Uh, the, the reason why I haven't been posting videos every day like I normally do, um, was basically because my phone hasn't needed to be charged and I basically whenever I make a video I save um, uploading it until I can charge the phone up fully which I did do in the past <coughs> and I've got a bit of sore throat it's actually quite dry in the uh, in the shed so um so yeah, uh, and the only problem with the phone is that it's got all the pictures stored on it. I was supposed to film with the old phone, but the old phone decided to have a crisis and also be full of, um, of video footage and stuff that I wanted to save on the phone. I didn't want to move it um, until I got in, and then my external hard drive. I don't know if I can move this without causing catastrophe. It's up there. The old external hard drive uh, uh, decided to flip out and like decided that it was invisible to my both of the computers. So I was dealing with those that for the past couple of days and uh, <clears throat> now that this there's enough storage left on on this phone to actually record videos I'm making a video so here it is um, also I can upload the stuff that you saw previously in the other two vlog uh, videos when everybody was gone from the hotel and stuff I could have uploaded that I guess but there was just no internet time because everything else was uploading, so it was super, it was super crazy. So I'm just adding it all on this one, and um, yeah. So over the past couple of days, it's been seriously work-related stuff going on. So there's, there's not much interesting stuff. I've not really had time for random thoughts. <coughs> Damn it! There we go. I do want to say I do want to say something because um, something that pissed me off a couple of days ago, which I just remembered, uh, was that. Let me sh let, let me tell you the context. I have uh, very selective, very selected Facebook friends on my Facebook profile, um, and my Facebook profile seemed to be flooded with just lots and lots of pictures of one user and I didn't understand why and that's because their 
their um, content was being made a priority. And no matter how much I played with the settings, their all of their stuff seemed to be at the top of the list, and I couldn't get rid of it. It was just it was driving me crazy because like it was I don't I don't understand why I need to see every time this person goes on holiday and every time they take a picture every time they they update their status I don't want to see that all the time I want it to be broken up into into bits so that I can actually see it amongst my other friends content now that's fair enough um, but it just wasn't doing that it was just for some reason continuing to do this so I made a tough decision and I unfollowed them and for a couple of days Five, this is five months ago. For a couple of days, it seemed to work, and that's fine. You know, <clears throat> it seemed to work. Their statuses were mixed in with everybody else's, and I could I could make out what they were doing. It was just something that kind of bugged me about the the app. It was just a kind of a glitch or something. Um, so yeah, that was fine. And then it started happening again. And it, I get, I kept getting like invites to Instagram from this person, and it was, it was followed by their pictures again, and it was just, it's fine, you know, they're nice enough people, but it was just kind of like, well, what, what about my other friends, you know, what about my brother's posts, what about um, a bunch of like my family's posts, and what about like uh, all the people that. I know from back home before I moved here and what about the people I'm going to see later and that's the it's just it was just annoying just scrolling up so didn't think much of it I thought I figured that I just I would unfriend them and um, because we talk anyway uh, via Facebook Messenger and via text so it's no big deal so I unfriended them and I, it, everything was fine again. Um, a couple of days ago, or was it yesterday? I can't remember. Um, I've been really not thinking about it that much. It's just, it's kind of, it's just one of those things of like, um, of, of I got a unhappy face or something message from them uh, after like a few days of not hearing from them after I said that I couldn't do anything because I'm going to the ball you know and that we were gonna meet up and stuff um, there's no plans to meet up we were making plans to meet up uh, so I said I was going, I was going to the, to the sci-fi convention the charity convention that I go to every year and that's fine you know and then I like, get an happy face. I ask the person, you know, it's like, are you okay? What's wrong? Um, and then I basically get harassed and called names and stuff because they couldn't deal with the fact that I unfriended them and unfollowed them on Facebook. You know, it's grow up. It's just Facebook. It's not like it's a big deal. You know, it's not like I threw a bunch of hate speech at them. It's not like I, I, I basically um, wrote an entire post saying how, how terrible they were as a person or anything. It was just a simple, you know, the, the, it was a weird glitch that Facebook was doing for some reason. By the way, it's happening to somebody else at the moment as well, but I'm not going to unfollow or phone friend them because, well, in case this similar bullshit happens. Um. But I think that they understand that it, it's a problem because apparently it's happening to them as well for not me but somebody else's. I think it's Instagram and Facebook. But no, I just I was just so I, I was kind of disappointed that this person wasn't emotionally mature enough to basically just think of it as well, it's Facebook, you know. I'm, I'm uh, okay. You know, and then continue, go on with our lives like normal, you know. But the stuff that they said about me and said to me was just ridiculous, just crazy. I mean, it, it was like that. They basically called me scum 
Um, didn't actually physic actually call me scum. Just want to clear that up. Didn't actually call me anything anything bad besides bipolar, which isn't really a bad thing because apparently um, everybody's bipolar. But um, they they called me bipolar and they called me horrid, and it was just a a kind of thing of like. So let me get this right. Let me get this straight. Um, you, you, you're calling me these names um, as insults, and you're saying it's basically because I don't have large vocabulary when I'm talking to you, or I'm not getting my point across, or you know. Because I unfriended you on Facebook. Yeah, I, I. This is this is nuts. You know this, right? But he, they weren't getting it. They just weren't understanding. They were. They wanted to create more drama by just. Bleh. I mean, uh, trying to make me feel crappy about. Possibly feeling crappy. Oh, what you know, and, and I'm bad. I'm the bad guy somehow. Yeah, you need to kind of figure out what's going on with whatever that was, because that was just crazy. But no, I was just saying to them that it's only Facebook. You know, we've been talking like, you know, we've been talking as friends still for ages. And it's really annoying. Basically, it's it's really it's, it's really irritated me because, like, I was possibly going to see them this weekend. You know, I was I was I was looking forward to hanging out with them, and now they've kind of. I don't want to talk to anybody that calls me stupid names or flips out because you know I don't. I don't, I don't leave long messages. Is, is that, I don't get why that's a problem. You know, I prefer talking to people in real life. And who, you know, I, I don't want to be friends with somebody who's only really interested in other things instead of actually just talking to me and, you know, us, us continuing having a friendship, you know? So yeah, that's the. I think that's the only piece of real bullshit that's happened recently. I just don't know. I don't, I, just let me know what you think down below. You know, should should people flip out? Should people flip out purely because you unfriend them on Facebook? You know. Oh, I think I know what I, sh and you know what I should have done? I should have just explained the situation to them. Oh no, actually no, I did that already, and it didn't seem to help. And now they hate my guts for a reason that I don't understand. So, good luck to them, I guess. But no, that's the last I'm going to say about this. I just, I still don't understand why people are so concerned about like about Facebook, it's not that big of a deal. I do also, go, uh, I do have something else. Um, I post a couple of pictures every now and again, um, a couple of selfies and stuff um, with my mum and my dad in the background, and Damon was in there as well. And um, and what's really funny is that basically, I got a couple of people saying, you know, um, that were that the same woof. Or you know, your hot stud, and that's that's nice. That makes me feel good. But like, my my parents are in that picture, and um, my at least my dad is tagged in that picture. So he'll get notified if that comment is left on there. So I had to delete them. I did explain to um, at least one of the people. Uh, you know, that, that, like, dude, not cool because I d it's crazy. I, it's 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 just crazy. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will get back into the swing of this. 
Um, sorry this is an exceptionally long one, but you've been dealing with long ones for a couple of days now, so... Um, I'll see you tomorrow.